Hey, what's up, Cancer? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Hope you're doing great. Thanks for tuning in for your November 2020 Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading. So I will be shuffling and employing the good tarot to do this read for you. So I'll just talk about what I'm going to do while I shuffle this deck. Um, so we're going to ask about any money coming into your life soon. Um, so we'll see what the spirit guides have to say about that. And I really hope that you enjoy this reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And just keep in mind it's a general read, okay? So that's really important that you are probably guided here to understand or connect with something that is going to come out of the cards. So um, I'm just uh, also... You know, asking if you guys have ever considered a donation to my channel. Um, you know, I lost my job about six months ago and times are a little bit tough right now. So I do have a, a PayPal link in the description box of the video. So any amount is received with love and blessings. So thank you so much, guys. And let me just clear this deck out because I just did a reading for Gemini and it was a little bit heavy. So I want to just absolutely clear out that energy and get you guys the best reading possible. So money coming into your life soon, Cancer. I'll do a deck cut and let's see what's happening here for you. So let's have a look. So you have the messenger of air. So there's definitely something on the horizon for you. Actually, this is the queen of water. She just looks a whole lot like the messenger of air. Sorry about that. Um, so this is really like being able to use your intuition and listening to your gut basically and what to do next. Like if you're having any sort of difficulty on your path, like just really connect to your emotions, you know, with this card, the queen of water, she's very like at peace with listening to her guides. And if this is not something that you're used to doing, um, you know, you could start really slow with meditation and being by water, listening to water, having a bath, you know, drinking lots of water can really help open up your mind a little bit. There's also a technique, you guys, that you can use for manifesting um, with water. So what you do is like you uh, put your hands on your glass of water here like this and you speak your intentions into the water you know whatever they may be if you want a new job or a new car or whatever and then you drink the water um you can also put like a post-it note underneath it whatever your intention is and then drink it and this is a like a, a scientifically proved effect that words change the chemistry of water i don't I'm not sure if chemistry is the right word but it does it does change it so if you're interested in that maybe check it out after the reading but water is going to be a very powerful resource for you guys as you manifest in whatever it is into your life that you're looking for and that quiet peaceful you might want to block out the advice of well-meaning friends you know the way she so, sort of shut down here especially if you've taken a path that is outside of something that maybe your parents or anybody in your family um they could be coming in and giving you the tisk tisk you know and just oh see i don't want to say i told you so but i told you so but your path is taking you places where you're meant to meet specific people that can help your soul journey but i'm definitely getting that that message from spirit to tell you guys about this manifestation method with water and it could really benefit you in the month of November. So definitely try that out. Um, and let's have another card here. So we have the six of fire. So the six of fire is like the six of wands, but you guys are really flying high here. And I'm just seeing that you guys have the opportunity to fly high in the company of others. So this is where I was seeing that path unfolding for you. And even if it's unpleasant for somebody else in your family or whatever, your boss, they don't want you leaving to do a different job or your partner or whatever, there's somebody that you're meant to meet on that path and they can open doors for you. So this is a really interesting um, aspect of the Six of Fire because you can see, well, here's you, right, in, in full bloom. Um, full steam ahead and then there's all these other balloons here but they're this is 
the highest mode of transportation being in the air so there's something very elevated coming in for you and if you're having if you're a little bit stuck with your manifestations try that water technique it could really be the thing that opens up i want to say floodgates because haha um you know and and get you really like i'm getting all these water analogies like have you with resources pouring into your life so water is incredibly important is there any way that you can take a vacation beside water you know or can you go sit beside water like depending on where you live like for me right now it's like minus 10 for where i live so i'm definitely not going to go outside and um you know sit by any sort of particular body of water but can you have longer baths or you know put your feet in water you know something very important and that like i said that could also be a water sign of cancer pisces scorpio coming in to help you out here but you're really about to meet somebody that is quite affluent and influential and they can open doors for you so just don't let anybody kind of stand in your way if they want to take away um your next steps that you're you're feeling like deeply in, in your core and this is a magician card and this is so appropriate because if this is something that you're really trying to call into your life like just living an escalated lifestyle the magician is here with you saying okay now is the time like it's the time for you to start doing whatever it is that you can to manifest this high reality that i'm seeing with the six of fire i just love this magician card he really feels like ancestral guidance coming in and, and he looks you dead in the eyes and he's just saying to you what is it that you want and do you understand how powerful you are he doesn't even have all the tools that the other magicians have like if you look at the other decks all the elements of tarot surround him but this one he just knows that he's the tool like in a nice way you know he is the instrument that divines opportunity into reality so understand that it's you you know so this is why like i think i'm getting all that water inspiration because it's about you and the foundation of being in water for you and ingesting water for you is so key because it's just going to build you up in a way that you probably never felt before cancer and it's it's going to feel like it's kind of like a magic wand for you you know and it might seem really ridiculous like the things that i'm saying to you right now but i think you should try it out because this is what the the guides are saying here um and then we have the messenger of earth so you're definitely going to be tapped into higher messages of wealth and abundance the the earth cards represent coins or pentacles you know so you do have the messenger coming in and looking you again and here's that gaze again you know so there is definitely a higher connection here for you available in the month of november like this is like a meteoric rise for you financially um you know you could be like rubbing elbows with people that you've only seen on social media or you know in the news or something like that this is really incredible like you're just there's an opportunity for you guys to be catapulted into a realm that you probably never imagined yourself being in but the the portal is open for you and water is going to be incredibly important to opening that portal hmm. i'll pull one more card here for you so you have the six of earth here so you guys this card comes up you know it's a reciprocating energy but you could be having that feeling that you're doing so much and when is your payoff gonna come in and your payoff is coming in you know if it's not a november i do see that it will be by the end of the year and it'll make the the grind of the past year or two feel like it didn't exist at all so you guys just really need to hang in there because you're about to get that karmic push that's going to put you in a place that you probably won't re recognize for a while but you'll get comfortable fast enough so 
really, really, really pay close attention to what you're doing around water. Like, don't speak negative thoughts around water. Like, just do a little bit more research on the power of water and manifestation because it's going to turn a key for you this month. Absolutely. Very cool. So, guys, I wish you all the best, and I just want to send you love and light and take care. Okay, bye for now. Bye.